Hey guys, today's the 31st of July, so for a lot of us that means that it's that, uh, time to start sending out our invoices. So I'm just about to get to my local post office and send out my mailed invoices. Um, I've tried to transfer a lot of my clients onto email invoices, but some of them you know, still don't own computers or have emails or, or are into that kind of thing. So um, yeah, I've still got quite a number of invoices here to send out uh, to them by post. Basically, um, also being in the middle of winter too, I don't have as many invoices. Um, obviously I'm not as busy as normal, so I've probably got half the amount here that I normally would in the busy season. Uh, there's my little fella in the back there. So hello Emmett. <laughs> no, that's your name. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Alright, thanks guys. See you soon. So it runs obviously through the internet so you can access it anywhere. Uh, they've got a really good iPhone app uh, that I do a lot of my work on. Um, all right, so this is a, basically your, des your home page or dashboard or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, to create a new customer, um, it's a very simple process. You can just go into customers, create new, you just put their details in there, and then once that's in there, uh, you then just to, you say if you were to make a new invoice, their details are all there ready to go. So what we're going to do today is going to create a new invoice um, just to show you how how I do it and um, you know what I think is the easiest way to do it so obviously you just go up here choose your customer so we we'll go with John Smith um, just a random one that I've just made up just for the purpose of this video so basically there it's got all these details on um, if I had have added an address that his address would be in here um, so that's where it is now when you um, depending on whether you email your invoices or whether you mail them out um, that billing address there actually goes in the right spot so you can just fold the, the letter correctly and use a windowed envelope and you don't need to actually write the invoice at all it's all printed on the invoice and you just fold it properly um, I'm sure you've got you know some bills that come in that are just printed in you know printed with window um, envelopes so that's a really cool thing and uh, makes it a lot easier you don't have to actually physically write the whole address and stuff on the envelope so um, it's as simple as for me. So I've got the, all the services that I have already here um, in the thing. So just for this this video, we'll just go. So it's a lawn mow and edge that automatically comes up. Usually in here, I just put his address um, or the address of the job. So I'll say it's five uh, five John Street and the date. So I'll just say the 1st of the 8th 2014 um, quantity so there's one and then the rate let's just say fifty dollars that goes across there now here's what um, I usually do inclusive of tax the reason I do inclusive of tax is so I don't have to work out the GST component so it works it out for me um, so in Australia the GST component of an invoice is 10% so I just selected that there. That automatically works out what 10% of, or sorry, the, the right amount of tax or GST on, on that. So it's 45.45 is actually my money. $4.55 is the government's money. Um, so that's sort of the taxable part of, of that job. Um, and so basically there your invoice is completed. You could add a little memo or um, anything. Sometimes I attach pictures and stuff like that to them. Um, just to give the client a, you know, if they're not currently living at the property, just to give them an idea of how it's looking and if they need anything else done. Um, it's a great way to sort of add on sales and things like that with your clients to do that as well. So, um, so it's got all the information that you need. It's just so simple. That was, that was, you know, took what, 10 seconds to do that. Um, and then if I wanted to send the invoice straight away, I would just go save and send um, that, then that invoice would send. So, that's not usually what I do. Usually I send my invoices at the end of each month, uh, which I've just done. Uh, so I'll just hit save and close, and then you know the invoice is there in the system. So um, 
you can see there invoice saved there it is there it's come up on my activities so um, that's that's it as simple as it is um, the other great advantage of this program is it, it tells you what's going on within your company too so you've you've got um, I've got my bank account here linked up so whenever whenever money gets transferred into that account it shows up in this and then I marry it to the invoices that it's for so it automatically um, marries up the invoices for you and then you um, obviously because of that you can do all your reporting and stuff so you know you can see what what income you're making and uh, what you're spending all that it's all linked into the bank account so if you spend money out of your bank account for your business uh, obviously it shows up and then the money that comes in for your business is there too so it's, um, it's a really sweet program runs really simply and obviously it shows you here so what this is is uh, open invoices overdue invoices and paid invoices so at the moment I've got 74 invoices that I've completed so that's basically jobs that I've completed this is invoices that have been sent out that are yet to be paid and they're the ones that have been paid and I've had 52 invoices paid in the last 30 days so um, that's pretty pretty straightforward it's all very simple um, if I was to change that from private mode on um, to off you would see the actual dollar amounts that I'm in so the, you know that uh, the open invoices that I'm <coughs> due to be paid um, here and here and then their dollar amount that's been paid so it's all there in front of you you can really you know trust what it's doing and then see what you you know what's coming in and out of your business so easy so um, yeah I run my whole business through this account um, and through this program and um, it's very very simple can't can't recommend it enough I know a lot of the guys on lawn pros and that are already using it and you know I can for I think it costs 15 bucks a month for the program that I'm on uh, I think that's well worth it you know so uh, yeah that's all I wanted to show you guys if you've got any questions you know post them in the comment section below more than happy to help out uh, with anyone that has questions about this or or whatever so uh, yeah alright guys talk to you soon keep going